Safari Inn is when we're when we go into pre-production and start going through all the songs before we have any lyrics or song titles, we have what we call work titles, which are just these sort of spontaneous, funny names that we come up with that sort of relate to the vibe of the music. And one of these pieces of music, I, I was driven by Safari in this famous old uh, motel in Burbank, and I just called it Safari in. And it never really turned into a song. We play the intro riff and then the first verse, and the chorus would come, and then I would just solo for half an hour. So we never did uh, arrange it into a song, so I thought, well, we'll just make it a loose jam. So we condensed it down to like, I think it's roughly two minutes, and then I just put a guitar solo over the top, slapped it on there. Safari Inn, uh, it's an instrumental um, that I didn't realize was going to be an instrumental until after I'd come up with at least the melody for it, and, and I'd started working on the lyrics, and then... I heard through the grapevine, oh yeah, they've got this instrumental, and it's that one song. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. I don't know, I never even played the, the, uh, the I never, I don't even know if I told Slash or any of the guys I'd come up with the melody for that yet, but I'm glad we didn't turn it into just another song, because I think it, the fans love the instrumental side, and um, it turned out brilliant. It, there's, he's playing his ass off. Yeah, The Unholy is probably the most different uh, piece of work <laughs> from us on this record um, and it was basically I sat down one night you know I've been writing a lot for movies and scores and I, I, I write completely different in the context of working with a visual and working with a script than I do when I'm working with the concept of a song for a band. So I was I was experimenting with what if I tried to cross over those two worlds and start write sort of with an idea of a visual in mind, but for uh, for a, a you know a four minute or five minute song. And what ended up happening was was the music to the unholy, and it was cool because it was it it, made, it opened the, it opened up my eyes that I can actually sort of do that where I can I can uh, write in a thematic kind of con you know I, uh, frame of mind and then sort of arrange it into a song format um, and it also inspired some really uh, great and poignant uh, lyrics and concepts from Miles that are very dark and very significant uh, commentary That song is heavy, uh, musically and lyrically. Uh, it, it was inspired by the atrocities that take place sometimes in, with, we've heard a lot of, a fair amount about it over the years within the Catholic Church and what happens with the uh, clergymen or the priests and, and some of the, the, the younger members. And so that song deals with that subject matter, which is really dark, and uh, not something that normally you'd feel comfortable singing about, but we just felt like with the, as dark as that music was, that uh, it was congruent with it. We did, you couldn't sing about, you know, driving your fast car down to the beach with music like that, so it had to be something pretty, pretty deep. <laughs> 